All right, here we have an Admiral VCR. And I know what you're thinking, what's an Admiral? Well, I looked this up. Apparently Admiral was a, a company out of Chicago, Illinois. In fact, this, this, this unit was manufactured in Chicago, Illinois. Um, somewhere around 1991, Maytag partnered with Montgomery Ward and they purchased the Admiral brand to, um, to produce electronics. Um, it, was, it was during a time when, uh, you know, the Sony's and, uh, and the other Japanese companies were flooding the market. So, um, as I understand it now, um, this brand is owned by, um, by um, Whirlpool and they produce electronics under the Admiral name exclusively for Home Depot. And that's probably more than you wanted to know about this VCR. You really just came here to see how it works. So let me get to that, okay? This VCR is in really good shape. It's metal. It's it's actually nicer than um, some of the typical VCRs I've seen um, from this time period. And it could be like, you know, a good old American made machine. Um, it's got, you know, it's a little bit of wear and tear on it. So please look at the pictures on eBay. Um, I've got this connected to my HD TV with just regular um, AV cables. You get a pair of them with this unit. Um, you also get a blank VHS tape and you also get, um, uh, um, you get you get this universal remote. I couldn't find a remote for this. I couldn't even find a, a manual for this. So, um, but it's pretty standard VCR. It actually plays really nice. I mean, I put this up against a Panasonic actually. Um, so I programmed this um, this uh, um, universal remote to to work all the functions to 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 for a VCR, and I included that with this um, listing. Okay, I'm sorry. I I include this with it with this. With this, with this machine and the, with the listing, yeah, I, I include the manual for this. So if this, if you change the batteries out, I think if you leave them out for more than so many seconds, it, um, um, you have to reprogram it. So I, I include the manual for the, for the, uh, for the rem universal remote and the code to reprogram this. So you're gonna be all set in that area. I am actually sending this with the, with the um, batteries included because, which I don't normally do, but I, I want you to be able to. Um, use it right out of the box, okay? So now let's see if it works. Okay, so VCR, put it on, it just came on, see, so yeah, right there. All right, and it comes up, and now let's go ahead and let's put, um, we're doing uh, Final Destination tonight. Always a good disaster movie to put in these machines. Let's, uh, oops, let's put that in there. There we go. And let's bring that up. I'm gonna use the VCR to control the functions of this. I'm gonna do, Play fast forward, play rewind, stop fast forward, stop rewind, because um, that requires changing of the gears inside the machine. And uh, you know, it's gotta change the gears and sync with the electronics. And you know you got a good machine when it can do all that. So let's get started here. So I'm using this uh, using this right here. Let me get that back in focus. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit and hit play. Good. In fact, you can't even really hear the gears turn on this machine, it's not good. Now you can hear the gears turn. There you go. All right, and I'm gonna hit play again. There we go, good. Now I'm gonna do stop, fast forward. Do you have a nice on-screen display with this? I don't know, um, I don't know how many. Oh, all right, it stopped, and now it's doing a higher speed fast forward. That's excellent. See, you can hear that, hear it? Talked over it, okay, stop. Now I'm gonna hit play again. And you can hear the gears turning inside. It, they're actually, this is a really nice machine. It's producing a really nice picture. So remember this is, um, it's a standard definition picture going into a high definition TV. So, all right, let me stop here and let me, you know, rewind a little bit. See if we can get to do the high speed thing again. Well, it's pretty close to the beginning, so I might not do that. All right, I'm gonna hit stop and I'm gonna play. We're still like right to be because they're just getting on the plane. So, so yeah, so this VCR works really nice. I also like it that it has um, one of these knobs. I like I like the ones that have these knobs on it so that you can uh, you can turn it to fast forward. Yeah, it's like a fancy one. So like, I'm gonna then you can rewind with that too. Control the speed of it. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice little machine. So, all right, let's stop. I'm making this a too well long of a video now. Let's eject it. Show you that the tape was not eaten. All right. 
Very good, I'm gonna put in, oops, I got my finger in front of that. This is bad camera work, Teddy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the Terminator 2 in there because now I've updated to, you know, I, now I'll go back and forth between the Terminator and Terminator 2. All right, and let's, let's play a little bit of that. There you go, excellent. This is when uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger first arrives, I believe. Or the T2000. I haven't watched this in a while. That's Arnold. That's when he's really big, wow. All right, so if you're interested in purchasing this unit, please go down to the description below. We eject it, and I can show you that the tape is not eaten and that you're gonna get a good unit. You know I know you've never heard Admiral. <laughs> All right. Have a nice evening, folks.